I am a failure. Probably should have read the instructions. This is going to go wrong. Hi. My hair has not been washed in a week. So, how's it going? Hope we're doing well. So today I'm gonna dye my hair by myself. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm only doing a little bit, okay? I have to talk to you about something that I'm not proud of, but I have to address. So I'm gonna get this hair dye on and then I'll talk to you about it, okay? I did actually order like a mixing bowl and like a brush and things you actually need to dye your hair, but I'm too impatient. I'm just gonna make it work. <laughs> So I really like the color of my hair at the minute. It is like a nice kind of ashy blonde. It's quite dark on the bottom, obviously very greasy, um, but that is the point. It's meant to be very greasy. As you can see, we've got some killer roots here, but it looks intentional. Like that's how I get my hair colored so I can go a long time without having to get it colored because it blends so well into my natural hair color. It kind of just looks like a balayage. So I don't want to touch the back. When I tie my hair up in a ponytail, she's brunette again. Like I am full on, until you actually see the ponytail, I'm brunette, which I mean, I'm fine with, but I really, really like having my little blonde pieces. I haven't even done my intro. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I hope you're doing really well and that life is treating you okay. When I first went blonde, my hair looked actually not too dissimilar to how it looks now. My root came down a little bit lower. It wasn't far off where I am now, except these front pieces here were super, super, super blonde, which I know is now like a huge trend. And then I went blonde from the root and now I'm blonde all over. Now I've got these roots again and I'm not going to get my hair done for ages. I thought it would be a great time to re-dye these little blonde bits. I'm going back to my roots <laughs> and I am going to bleach these front sections of my hair. Let's pin back the rest. See, don't even have my set, like, classic me to order all of the stuff I need and then to not even wait for the stuff to arrive. I'm using the Schwarzkopf Live Intense Lightener Absolute Platinum, eight levels of lift. Okay, it says wait no longer than two to three minutes. So I guess I'd better get on with it. This is going to go wrong. Oh, it's exploding. Um, I guess I'm just going in. Probably should have read the instructions. Hang on. Fine, I'm fine. It's only the front of my hair. Actually like the very front. So if it goes wrong, there is no hiding it. So while I do this, let's talk about what I've been avoiding talking about, the mile a day challenge. <laughs> so if any of you guys uh, have completed the mile a day challenge, I would just like to say props and kudos to you because I, Emma, AKA the person who set the challenge, I failed so miserably at my own challenge. I can't even begin. Yeah, I failed. I didn't run a mile a day. I didn't run close to a mile every single day. Probably ran the equivalent of a mile every other day. I really, truly didn't do very well. Just like how I feel I'm not gonna do very well with this. My plan was to like really document it. I filmed like before shots of how my body looked and I timed my first run and I was like really kind of pumped and excited about this challenge. For us all to do it together and be like, yeah. We all ran a mile a d We didn't, I didn't. And I'm really sorry. I hope that as a silver lining, it inspired some of you guys to get out there and go for your run. If I was still doing my usual routine, I may have been better. But I think this whole self isolation thing, even though so many people are like gagging to get outside, they're all like, oh, I wanna go for a run, I wanna go for a walk. I feel like I've had kind of the opposite response to most people and I've been cooping myself up. Oh, I just dropped bleach somewhere. And I've been fine with it. Today will have been the one month mark. I think I am gonna try it again at a later stage when all of this is over, when life can go back to normality, when I can have some sort of routine. Until then, I am a failure. Um, and I felt like I had to be doing a task, such as bleaching my hair, uh, when I told you this, because I felt so uncomfortable about um, 
not completing my own challenge. If you guys did it, please leave a comment down below so that everyone can know that you're better than me. I'm really afraid of what I've done here, you guys. If it looks awful, then at least I'm in self-isolation. And also, if it looks awful, Tim is also gonna look awful because I need to do his hair soon. And we all know how that's gonna go. Things are happening. Looking a bit orange on the bottoms here, but I'm gonna tone the crap out of this. I have a few different toning options because I obviously, I tone my hair quite a lot anyway because I've got a really ashy blonde. I used to dye my hair a lot when I was younger, like at home. I had this blue streak that I used to always do where I would like bleach the bottom layer of my hair and dye it bright blue. Obviously that was a quite the phase. Haven't done that in a while and I feel like I'm going back to my young naive days of making terrible choices. Early to mid twenties crisis. The after treatment's on and then I guess we'll just come back and see how it looks. <laughs> Honestly, as you can tell, I'm not particularly like crazy precious over how this goes. Um, I'd rather it doesn't look terrible, but also like, I'm in, I'm in self-isolation. I don't care that much. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. But for you, it'll just be a jump cut. It's all good. I did one mini tone and then I'm gonna do another tone um, later on. Hey guys. It's the next day. We're still pretty brassy. So I'm gonna put this on now. Let me just take off my hoodie and reveal to you the fact that I just got burnt in the sun. This is not my best look. My hair is yellow and my skin is pink. This is horrific. These gloves are comically big. Why are they so big? So I need to leave this on for 10 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna start here. Cause I think this is where it needs the most loving. And then I love you. I love you. When you come back, I won't be the Emma you knew before. So, <laughs> I've applied it. I can already see the front is cooling down, which is great. I can't believe my sunburn. I am going to let this sit for... Oh, if you're wondering what color I used, by the way, it is the Bleach London Lavender Grey Toner. If I look anything like that at the end, I'll be thrilled. I don't think I will. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave this for another 10 minutes, I think. And then I'm gonna use the reincarnation mask, which I actually have like a full size of this. I really like this hair mask. So I'm gonna use that, leave that on for like 10. So anyway, while this dies, hi. Uh, shall we talk a little bit more about the fact that I didn't run a mile a day? <laughs> I love how I'm just avoiding the topic so much in this video. It's like, oh yeah, no, this is a video about me dyeing my hair, but also like I just didn't do this one thing and I'm like <laughs> trying to talk about it. But actually I'm just really ashamed. I'm gonna go rinse this now. Spoiler alert, but uh, I'm definitely a lot of lavender. One sec. So this is what I'm left with for now. There is definitely a bit of yellow left. Let's all be honest with ourselves, with me, with each other. Front is still extremely brassy. I'm gonna give it some time to tone. I always use purple shampoo anyway, so it will naturally just start to tone itself up anyway because obviously purple shampoo is not a toner. It just color corrects and it takes a little while. It will be dandy. It's just not as instant as I would have hoped from that toner, um, but it definitely did help. Hi guys, it's the day that this video is going live. It is now Thursday. It's now Thursday. I think it's coming up to a week since I dyed my hair. I thought I'd give you like an up-to-date update <laughs> on how my hair's actually looking now because um, I left you there with some pretty brassy roots. I thought I'd give you a little update here is how we're looking. We're not completely clean yet, but I've kicked a lot of the brassiness out. As you can see, I have overtoned quite a bit these front pieces, which is to be expected because they already had bleach and this was virgin hair. I think it looks quite cool. I don't mind a little streak of purple, but yeah, it has really, really cooled down the root. Um, and I'd say I'm like a wash or two away from being my icy blonde goodness. And I also like it because it matches the ends of my hair. So it's literally like a dark root and it's exactly what I wanted. It's a little bit of fun. It's something a bit different. By the time I'm out of isolation, 
it's not even gonna look like this anymore. Hence why I was quite kind of slapdash. Honestly, I didn't particularly care. I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to fry my hair. But yeah, here's how we're looking. Can I also just say, I don't recommend you do this at home. I used to work at a beauty supply store and I would have people coming in with like, this much hair because they just burnt it all off with bleach. Like I have seen some horror stories. So do as I say, don't do as I do. But this was for some light entertainment for you guys. Just a little chilled video. Obviously you got the weekly vlog coming on Sunday and then Tuesday I'm doing the second half of my fashion haul because you've all been asking for it. So that will be coming next week. But I hope you guys are doing okay and are having a great week so far. Yeah, cause this video was filmed a week ago. So I feel like I haven't checked in with you guys for a little while so yeah hope you guys have a great day love you lots and i will see you on sunday Mwah. bye